We are here today at St James's in Finch Hampstead. St James's is a 12th century grade one listed building and it has 10 acres of surroundings. There was a, a wonderful lady called Lady Liddell who bequeathed her home, the Manor House, next door to St James and its surrounding 10 acres into our hands. Ever since then, we have embarked upon a programme of trying to make our surroundings as available as possible to the local community. Of the 10 acres, the three acres are taken up with the churchyard, this part of the churchyard, and then over the back we've got the new churchyard and then the, the woods. So this is the new churchyard. We started this a little over two years ago. If you were standing here two years ago, you would not have been able to walk in the it would have brambles, eight foot high, 10 foot nettles. And this is Lady Liddell's old garden and was the main part of a garden to the west of the manor house. It was full of fallen trees, brambles. It was impossible to walk through. We want it to be used as a community space. So people are more than welcome to come round. I, I think it's quite incredible when we have families in here. The bamboo is a favourite place because it can get lost all the way around it. Thoroughly enjoy themselves. I can be lost in here working a couple of hours on my own. That is of a major benefit to me. It's getting away from the rubbish of modern day life. It's been really important as we've gone through the process of developing our use of our surroundings to be mindful always of our responsibility to nature and to use natural things, to recycle, to be aware of nature as much as we can and to try to use our environment to enhance rather than to harm nature. And everything we do is done to that intent. Between the, the spring and the autumn, we have a Saturday morning where we invite people from the family service to come along with the, with the children. They come along and they weed and they dig up things and they cut down some of the dead, dead shrubs and things of that nature. And that's just lovely. I've been working in the gardening club up here for about three years. When my husband died five years ago, he was buried in the old churchyard. What I find personally is, uh, as the biggest benefit to me being up here, it's been a real healing process for me. Firstly, because it's wonderful being out in the open. It's wonderful being with a group of good people, you know, giving of our time. It's a very spiritual feeling, a feeling of peace. There is nothing like being out here in, in these surroundings. We began to use the garden for worship when we began to realise its potential. So we have festivals here uh, about six or seven times a year where families come, we encourage them on a walk or we encourage them to do an outside nativity. Ed Sampson and I have recently created a prayer walk which takes people all around the outside environs of St James from tree to tree where they can pause, reflect, and just simply walk our grounds. This world was put in place and in your time became beautiful. The most important thing we'd like to achieve from this garden in terms of its use is that the community feels safe, feels welcome, feels like they would like to come here, regardless or not whether they're churchgoers, simply to enjoy and to find comfort, to find happiness, contentment, just to make them better and whole, more whole people. <laughs>